Alright. Okay. Did it, did it. Ed, we're good. I can hear you, bro. You can hear me? Okay. Good. Okay. I'm just gonna. I have. I've been putting off a, a video with a client for way too long, and I gotta get them their wedding video today. What kind of video is it? It's like a wedding I did. You it went was, to a wedding? Yeah, I had the I had to photograph a wedding. <laughs> that makes it sound like I hated it. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, the the only issue was that um, I didn't speak the language, so like I just <laughs> didn't understand what they were saying, and like I still don't know who was related to who or whose father was who. I just I you just, just you just yeah. I was like that's that it. I was like I wish I had context, <laughs> but I just didn't. So yeah, that's hilarious. Um. You getting paid, obviously. How long have you been? Uh, did you get uh, like um, like I'm I'm still like a beginner photographer, but I still haven't charged for my services yet because I haven't been doing it for a while. But like, was there a point where you were doing it for free and now you're doing it for money? Yeah, I mean, I like just started. Like, I remember the like. I think the first time I got paid for a gig was like last year when I was six, six, 17. When I was seventeen. Dope. And and I was like, conf- like I was confused as shit, cause I was like, cause like they paid me like two hundred bucks, and I'm like, I'm like I would have done this for free. You could have convinced me. And I'm just, yeah. And I, and I was just like, I was like, ah, I, I, it's it's still weird to me, to be getting like it's good, cause I'm like I should be, but like it's still weird to be like this thing that I do, like you know is like i'm getting paid like people want to like pay me like hundreds of dollars and i'm like that's so weird but at the same time it's like um it's like that uh experiment where it's like you like doing something for free just fine like they gave kids like marshmallows and they just eat the marshmallows yeah and they're like and then they're like we'll pay and then they're like we'll pay you to eat marshmallows and then one time they didn't pay them and the kid's like i don't want to do it now it's like that. Yeah. It's like that. it's like now that there's money, it's like it's really hard to do the impassioned stuff. The yeah. Stuff like, like, you have the combined passion in economics. Yeah, it's like now like now that you put like I put money into it, I'm like, God, I don't wanna edit this. Or I'm like, I don't wanna work like, these. Like I just got money I just like got money cause from working at a restaurant and tips and shit. That's not my passion though, but I still make bread from it. And I know what I'm doing there. I know how to carry the goddamn tray. Yeah. And fucking. It's like it's like it's it's in passion work, but you gotta do it. Yeah, well, it's like I see. I have trouble with that. I can't like. I'm all about the grind, but if I if I'm not interested, it's so hard. It's so hard for me. I'm like. Yeah. I have a lot like of that's why I like. Like, job. like yeah. if I'm taking my carrying my camera around, and. There's nothing to take a picture of. Like, I'm just, like, tomorrow. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Next day. I see, see, I take the worst photos ever. Like, like I, like, literally, I'm, I'm constantly taking, and it's the, it's literally the most generic photo. Like, if I see a building, I'm, like, click, click, or I see a bridge, I'm, like, it's, like, But it still works. Good. It works. It works. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's just, like, a, like, I literally have hundreds of just, T- terrible generic like it's framed nice and it's cute but like i would never post it but i think doing that like leads you to like you're like you take like a generic picture and you're like what if i did this or maybe i'm wrong and i'm just like fucking wasting my time but i still do it i still take the most generic amateur photos and every time i try i'm like maybe maybe this is time you got it you got a following slightly maybe it'll be magnifique and i'm like no it's not oh let's just make some weird shit instead <laughs> Well, I think what's more unique about your stuff is I'm I'm gonna edit this shit and put in pictures that you do. It's just like there's always like some weird framing you do, and I I don't I don't. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. I just like cut shit up now. It's it's like I guess it's like collaging. And you always know. do grain, which is cool. Oh yeah, always grain. I did grain. I did grain when I was like when I first turned sixteen because I was like. With this high, if I do it vintage, yeah, I'm like, if I do it vintage, it hides the fact of how terrible I am. Oh like, my god, like, I like that's a way of looking at it. Yeah, I mean, I liked vintage stuff at the time, but never was like, that's my thing. Like, so I was like, Vincent, like, who? Like, yeah, I was like, this, I was like, oh, I can overexpose, like, I can make things look shitty and put grain, and then people won't realize that I'm really bad at this. Yeah, when I like, like when there's some, when there's a lot of really bad photos, like that, I just took horribly, and there's like no light. 
just like saturation overexposed yeah, you're like, you're like, well, yeah, uh, and you're like you oh it's experimental like yeah experimental hip hop yeah, you know yeah that's an issue where I'm like you know it's like you feel like sometimes you, you make something and you're like, sometimes oh, it looks cool I mean look at this one I think yeah it look yeah it looks cool but it's like sometimes you feel like you're like oh I'm just like a talented a talentless hack who's just like <laughs> yeah. fitting into the niche that we're all that all the other talented talentless Keep doing it. I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, I don't know what it, I'm doing. But it's the thing is, is just amount. It's just as much as talent and putting yourself out there. Cause yeah. think about it. Does Michael Bay have any talent? Mm, he, he does. He does what he does. But yeah, no. But he has not. his friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you know what I'm well, saying? It's, it's, like, it's like the um. Well, it's like that's one of my biggest fears. You know, it's like the George Lucas effect of like you know he's making the original Star Wars and there's all these people who are like critiquing him and they have budget changes so they're all like everything had to be changed a bunch and they're you know different shoots and they get to the prequels and it's all yes men they're all like yeah do whatever you want and he's like okay we're gonna have we're gonna have Yoda be CGI and we're gonna <laughs> and it's like we're gonna do oh my god and like yeah, I love I, love, I like I like I like the I like the um what is it like with the prequels when he was writing it he was good at world building but there's just some it's better it makes more sense than the newer movies though because i'm like so anti-sequel trilogy don't Mm -hmm. even but (laughs) don't even ask me about if i like the new uh, sequel trilogy but i don't i you know i i I was like you know i've never been the biggest star wars person i was vaguely into it you know the effect it had on the culture is good though in terms of an artist yeah it's like i grew up with it so like i have memories of it but it's like, I was like, this is a, like, but no, just recently, like a day or two ago, I was like bored on, like, driving. And I was like, oh, I'll listen to an old podcast episode of something. And it was a review of The Last Jedi, which is a movie that I really liked, even for its fault. And then I listened to this hour and a half podcast, and I'm like... They really be changing your opinions. I was like, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm like, well, it, it's one of those situations where... For every good thing I think of, it opens up a can of worms of bad things. <laughs> Where I'm like, oh, it's almost there. And I'm like, oh, but there's that issue. And then I'm like, oh, there's, I'm like, well, that was good. But Finn that. should, I'm going to end this by saying Finn should have died. I kind of agree. I mean. That's just, the, that's one of the biggest, like, things. But I feel like in terms I, of movies, like, in terms of movies, it's one of the most beautiful movies I've seen in a while. You know what I mean? Last Jedi, yeah. Ryan but Ryan's so good in his own creative lane when he's not messing up a franchise. It's like, so Knives weird. Out. Cool. It, yeah, it's so weird that Knives Out is really good. I don't... Knives I Out's don't, pure Kino. Yeah, like, Knives Out's great. Looper, like, I like Looper. like, the world, it, you know, it's a little ass, like, I think story was, but it's still good. Looper's still awesome. Um, there's a movie called, is it Brothers Grimm that he did? That's like a no, 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 that was a, that, he didn't do that, but I love that movie. I know what you're talking about, though. I, I love yeah, the Brothers Grimm, dude. I can't think of it. And then, and then Brick is his first movie, and it's my, one of my favorite movies of all time. Have you ever seen Brick? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. But I want to talk about, um. Brick is like a noir high school film, but not like in a cheesy way, and it's so good. It's is it so Levitt? That one boy, love it. Joe Smith, Gordon. Mm-hmm. He's not in much anymore. But, oh my god, he was in that one, John. Uh, fucking, uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that movie. I love that movie. It's so, like, corny and stereotypical mm-hmm. high school. This one's the popular one, and this one's the uh, fucking, you know what I mean? Have you ever seen him in... Uh, I think he wrote and directed it, or he definitely directed it, uh, Don John. That's about porn addiction, so I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. It's, yeah, it's, well, people say it's, like, about porn addiction. Don't ask me what I was doing before this podcast. Yes, I, it's not as depressing as, like, because, like, it's, you say porn addiction, it sounds like it's really sad. It, it's a really fun, flashy movie. Oh, yeah, the trailer it, looked, like, so, like. Yeah, it's more about, like, it's just, like, more about, like, relationships and expectations, it's not like I have a problem. It's more just like a guy who just like sleeps around and then he gets a girlfriend and they're just sort of like they're just not like good together. 
and but it's, it's just, like, really like, I'm a douchebag, and like him having to come to terms. It's it's an interesting movie. I really like it as a film. Yeah, apologize for how like I look like trash because like I woke up and then like you look like, I had to, like go go go, and I just haven't done anything. I've been just sitting in here editing photos and eating waffles. <laughs> wow, frozen <laughs> just, waffles. Oh, I had, dude, I had chicken and waffles to get to the, this morning. It, guys, IHOP delivers. <laughs> IHOP, IHOP delivers so well. Oh, it was good. I'm in, I'm in Queens right now, hanging out. And I got Queens out. where? New York. You live there? Oh, uh, I do now. Yeah, like two days ago. Yeah. For real? Uh, yeah, I just left. I was like, yeah, fucking, I'm out. So yeah, I'm in Queens. I'm not gonna live here. I'm just staying in Airbnb for a bit. And then I'm heading to uh, like Brooklyn or so. Like, do you have a job? Like, well, how old are you, anyways? You're like this I'm mysterious 18. figure. I'm 18 and I I moved alone and I I just do freelancing. I'm probably gonna DoorDash soon, so he has a little extra extra pocket change because I am sinking in debt. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, I have a list of like subscription services I am a part of, and it's just like every month at the end of the month I'm like. Looking at my, yeah, uh, you know, my PayPal, and it's like charging to Patreon, charging to, um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Apple Music or whatever the fuck. And it's yeah, just like, I, ah! Yeah, I have Spotify. I, I just got Spotify. I just switched over from Apple Music to Spotify. And I don't know. I'm, I'm like so respect. I'm like, I like to respect the creators, so I have the get. Like, I could definitely just like pirate everything. I used to pirate everything because I know it. But like, I don't know. YouTube MB3, people don't, people don't respect the game of YouTube MB3. Oh, and you use, like, the document apps and Yeah, but it's you like, people don't YouTube. get it. Because, like, if you had a song on your phone, you you really wanted that song. Because you had to sit down, look it up, find a good version of it on YouTube, download it, hook up, and you, like, it was work. So it wasn't, you, could, you could just throw shit on. There was, like, there was, like, a little bit of, like, it's like you, like, had that list and you're like, I want this song. Because, like, you have to put effort into it. Like, I don't know. That makes you really care. Now I can, like, it's like a two-button click. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I, had, I had Apple Music for the longest time. I literally just switched Their playlist to game is so good, and Lil Wayne has a um, podcast on it. That's I, yeah. Well, I it's not a podcast. It's a radio thing, but it's, like, mm -hmm. you can still look back at it. Like, he, um, yeah. he stops every now and then and interviews, like, 50 Cent or something. Bro, it's hilarious. I, he did Jack. He did, yeah. I'm big in a rap like, thing. I like Apple Music. I literally just switched over because I met this girl that I really liked, and she had Spotify, and I wanted to listen to her playlist. Word and I was to the like, game. And I was like, I'll do this. So I just, like, that night, I was like, ah. Like, I, like, I like her so much. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. So I just, like, sat there and converted all my Apple Music to Spotify. Oh, so God. I was like, I am now a Spotify user. <laughs> Yo, like, um... I just like I just like spent I just downloaded everything on there and I'm like okay it's weird though because like I feel like the phones are so hardwired to us like visually and like like create all that different chemistry and that serotonin every time I go for music I look for the Apple Music icon every time I go look for it it's not delete it my you can delete yeah, it yeah like my brain wigs out so I'm like where is it and then I'm like oh yeah we, we're Spotify now so like I have to like retrain that like. Cause I listen, to, I listen to music 24 seven almost. Like I just constantly have it playing. Oh yeah, like if I didn't have like Drake music to like motivate me, then I would not be doing anything. I, yeah. Like, Cause like Drake's always talking about how he's like making money and 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 doing all this shit, and I'm just like, just in general, just but like I need I need that hardcore. Yeah, I need in my I need, ears. I was like, I was listening to I was re-listening to uh, Villains by Queens of the Stone Age, and I was like, this is like I'm like this is hype music. And What's I'm your so taste? Good. What's your taste? Uh, I go everywhere. You can ask me about other. Well, I don't go in the metal. Well, I like all. I like every music. What do you mean? Yeah, I like every. Yeah, yeah. There's a. That's what everyone says. No, I don't like every genre of music. But <laughs> like, like I don't get into metal much and like that type of '90s grunge very much. But the thing is, I'll save a song just because I like like a hi hat or a snare or. <laughs> You know, or just like a synth. I'll just like I just like little bits, and I just like keep it to memory because I, I want to like I want to work with music eventually. Don't you like Claro? Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting into music too. I I, I just like, um you like Claro, yeah, right? I, I do. Yeah, I listen to a little Claro. Yeah. Because I thought I saw you did a YouTube video and it was like uh you put bubble gum and it was like 
I forget what yeah. you did. You did like a visualizer. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah, that that video was yeah that was during look, that was during quarantine. Yeah, that was really funny because like I had shot footage and I, was I saw like, you short oh. film. Yeah, I was just like bored and, and it rained that night. Like I was driving a friend home. And I said, "Give me like a minute. I'm just gonna shoot some stuff real quick." And I shot stuff and then like I got home and I was really I was really depressed around for all during court. I mean, a lot of court, but I was. I mean, I've always, I've been for a while and it's like I was really out of it that night, and I thought it was like really. I don't know. That song has like personal like connections to me from like a past relationship, mm-hmm. but it was also like. The idea, like, I, I don't know, I make, I'm trying not to, I, I'm trying not to do it anymore, but, like, when I make videos, like, a lot of them have been, the idea's always been, let's make something that's, like, really generic, that, like, like, white girls would be like, oh, that's so cute, that's oh. like, <laughs> but then make it really dark, like, look, the last, like, short film I did, everyone's like, chamber of reflection, it's so cute in a romance, and I'm like, no, it's really depressing, that man is an alcoholic and doesn't have a life. And it's like, I like do it. So it's like with that Clara video, it's like, you know, it's like, and like, you're good at the aesthetic aspect of your shit. Like you always have that same, like, yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I just, I I don't, I see for me, I don't like everyone's like, you have such a Quentin Traventino. Yeah. Quentin Traventino. Yeah. I've been there since those days. Oh, I missed that username. It was, I liked it, but it was so hard to spell to people. It's like, Q, U. E N T I N dot oh, yeah. crab and then I was like uh, that's why I just changed it again I'm like it's really simple I want to talk about uh but what no like I just changed it now because it's easy I'm like I'm Travis oh, yeah. and, and, and just put dots it's like it like you can say it in two seconds and people get it yeah like I'm just trying to like market myself better I'm like before you called I'm literally like working on um uh business cards I'm just I'm designing that right Vista now. print. Yeah, Squarespace. Vistaprint is the one. I've been trying different ones and they were pissing me off. And I was like, I found Vistaprint. I'm like, Vistaprint's. Yeah, I changed my business name so much, like, with my YouTube channel, because I, like, I'm, like, Mike Media Incorporated, and I used to be, like, all this other shit. But I'm now, like, you got to make it simpler with, like, what your name is and all that shit. But, anyways, yeah. um, I want to talk about client preference with photography as compared to, like, your preference. Because, like,. My boy, Stefan, he was in Wilmington. It's like the city near where I live. I'm in Delaware. And he uh, he went by the riverfront. And I took these pictures. I took like 100. And I edited the, f- the seven ones and gave them to him. He was like, they're good, but can you give me all of them unedited? unedited? I was like, mm-hmm. okay. Like, I wasn't mad at him, but like, and he picked some really good ones. Like, it was like that, that. Yeah. You know, and it's just like I didn't know, like he likes the raw thing, but compared to me, and it's just like, it's just like you see, I wasn't mad, and I think that people who are photographers can't be mad at their clients if they want something different. Like I don't know what's your view on that. Um, the first thing I would say that I just learned recently is if you're working with a client, before you go and edit all the photos, do two or three of samples and then show it to them, because. When I did this wedding, I I did it with like a blue tint kind of style to it. It was really pretty. I liked it. But the other issue was I added, I made it really contrasty because I was shooting at such a, a shallow aperture. Sometimes you're a little out of focus. So to like to fix that, you just like bring up the clarity and the texture and you dehaze, so it makes it really sharp. So it's like it was a really stark, strong bluish image. And she was like, and she was like, I like them, but the issue was is like. She wanted something a bit more rustic-y, and then she also, the clarity brought out the skin tones. Uh, and it's like, so it's like, I like took a, like a photo of her, and you could tell like she was wearing makeup. And she was like, yeah, can you fix that? But it's like, I sat there, and I did like a couple hundred, you know, or more in that style. You know, I just went click, click, click. And then like, she was like, can you, she's like, uh, I prefer if these are different. And I was like, like, it was no problem, and of course I did it. But, like, I was running on a laptop, so it was really slow. So I was like, shit. So I had to go back and then, like, like lower the texture. And it's like, and like I wasted, like, I, it took so much time. And I was like, so now what I do is I give samples. And then she wanted unedited ones as well. And I was like, I was like, you're not going to like it. I was like, you know, especially, like, me, because I take so many that are bad. 
and that like like people don't realize like how many bad ones you take. And you just have to fight, figure out what you got. Oh yeah, um, every photo, every photo I take is like one out of a mm, five hundred gets yeah, posted. Yeah. Like, like that's that's me. I mean, I just it's just like yeah. But she was like, "Can you have the unedited?" And I was like. Well, for one, I was like, I, I done poor organization. There is exceptions, like if there, like either such thing as like easy good fo- photos, like a like a sunset, and you turn yeah. down the aperture, and or you turn up the aperture and you turn down the ISO, and you already have like a golden picture, like this. This is like the first take, like you mm-hmm. know, it's just it's simple, and this was basically the first take, and I just linked it right to my phone, and it's good. But like, the this one took like five minutes to edit. Oh shit, you can't see that. I yeah, I got you. I see it. I know. Uh, the, I know the photo. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I DM to you every time I post. And this took like thirty minutes to edit. That's like <laughs> fire. Uh, yeah, I don't. People ask me how long I edit, and I'm like, I couldn't tell you. It really oh, depends. If they ask like a specific photo, oh, well, I'll know. I'll definitely know. Yeah, I don't, I don't keep, like, like, because people say I edited a photo for 30 minutes, and I'm like, I don't, I'm like, I don't think I've ever, like, I rarely ever do that. Maybe I do, and I just don't pay attention, which is more than, more than possible. I mean, when I'm editing, I just go. Like, I got home, I got home around, like, 8-ish last night, and I think, I, I don't know when I started editing. I want to say I started editing around, like, like getting hardcore and editing around 8, 9-ish, 10 and I went, and I just went till 2 a.m. Like, I didn't, like, I just, I just went, but, like, that's all I did last night was edit photos. And, like, so for me, it's, like, I don't pay attention, like, to edit. So, it's, like, I'll spend, like, five hours straight just one by one editing. Lightroom, just, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll just Thousands play. in Lightroom. Like, it just really depends on the, because, like, some of them are, like, some of the things I post, like, I get, like, there's nothing good one day to post, through mm-hmm. my photography page and then I go to um and then I go through like my archives of a vacation a couple years ago and I see this picture of a boat and then I'll be like yeah let's do something with that because mm-hmm. like I didn't post that before and it's just like you know you pump it out and you're just like you feel good but I feel like it's try, yeah yeah I try and keep stuff that like if I'm editing it and I'm like I can't get anything I will occasionally keep it, and I'm like, me, and I'm like, and sometimes, like, a month later, or a week later, you know, it depends on how long I keep it, I'll, I'll pull it back out, and I'll mess with it, and I'll come up with something, I'm like, oh, that's cool, but most of the time, I'm just going, you know, I, I mean, people, like, I, like, I don't, so, like, I probably, like, I probably make 30 to 40 photos a week, like, I don't stop, you know, and it's like, for me, I just, I have such a constant flow, and people don't realize I have, like, two to three hundred other photos just sitting there waiting like i just like have like in on the back like like, i like i took like i have like 60 portraits i took in atlanta in march before like the lockdown and i just i just have them i just haven't felt like posting them and i also don't like where were you based before you're now in york new york um i was in florida i was in new smyrna beach near daytona in florida and i didn't like the state of florida so i i yeeted out real quick why don't (laughs) you like it like, uh, it's really humid there. Uh, it's just I didn't, you know. Also, like it was so associated with the past, and I thought if I could, I was a thousand miles away from the childhood and the teenage years, it would like free me. It didn't, and it's like I, I realized oh, this, this is more of a personal, you have to self-discover kind of thing. But um, it was that, and yo, keep on I, keeping on. Holy shit! I just noticed that. <laughs> Holy shit! That's jo- uh, that's Joe Dirt. Holy shit! I got a poster <laughs> in my other house. Of a, a Joe Dirt put. Oh my god. I saw the shirt, yeah, from that and Atlanta. And I was like, and I just, yeah, I was like, this is fun. How's Atlanta? You just said you were taking pictures in Atlanta. Like, Atlanta's amazing. I loved Atlanta. Atlanta, like, the thing was, my friend and I went right as the virus was hitting. It wasn't locked down yet, <laughs> but everything was shutting down. So there was nothing to do there. Everything's gone, like, and also everyone's evacuating because, like, they're in there and then no one's going to work. So the city's dead but like we're not wearing masks yet it's not it's not there yet but it's coming but so it's like my friend and i are there in the early morning one day and it's all kind of overcast and the city's dead quiet there's nothing to do so we're just like okay we'll walk around and 
I have a tendency to, to attract weirdos and <laughs> make friends with homeless people. And literally, literally, we just hung out with homeless people all day. That is amazing. Just walked around, and, like, I'd walk up to a guy, and, like, I'd pay him a dollar. <laughs> and, like, I'd take his photo real quick. And I got, like, the really... And, like, the people in Atlanta, at least the people I talked to, they were all, like, really personable. Like, they were all really chill. And it's, like, it's harder to do, like, in Florida, it's it's a lot harder. Because people, like, people aren't used to that stuff. New York, uh, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, it's not bad. I've, like, like, people, it's, New York's hard because I think people are okay with it. But I just got here, so I'm, like, my social anxiety is coming up and getting awkward. And then also, New, everyone in New York has headphones on. Where do you find work though? Like, what's your uh, gigs? I use, I use Thumbtack, which is a really great service and is like sponsored by Thumbtack. Huh? Sponsored by Thumbtack. Also, yeah, Thumbtack. Nah, but yeah, Thumbtack. I know you. Mean. I'll look Thumbtack. into it. It's 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 t- it's basically gambling on your entire career, but it's kind of free. It's not. It's gambling. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's it's. It's like getting an IMDb Pro account and calling Bill Murray's agent because. And paying monthly for that shit. Yes. Yeah. You should do Bill that. Murray, just Bill for the... Murray doesn't have an agent anymore. He just has. Oh a phone fuck number. yeah, dude. Why? He I... just has a phone number and you just ring him up. Yeah. I gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that Bill Murray number, man. No, Thumbtack isn't bad. The the like it's it's so and far. Fiverr. Dude, I, I hate Fiverr. Fiverr ads. I hate Fiverr ads. Like genuinely, like I, the blonde I girl, know. like. And I, it, did, it wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't working for me. I, I should check it back out again. I wasn't. It was video stuff, and I, I've never made video stuff that they want, so it was hard to like mark. I should, I need to check it out again. I mean, that's the thing is like, you know, like I have to now make normal stuff, and it's like it's and like it's taking a moment to like convince people to choose me, because I'm like, here's all my photos, and I do have like a clean portfolio. But like, but it's like I show people my photos and they're like, you know, it's like, and a lot of them are like, can you not add the grain, you know, and like, and they're like, and they're like, and it's like I have to keep all the weird stuff to myself, and it's like, yeah, it's like slowly making normal stuff, and then it's, it's weird because I've never, you know, the first time when I did that wedding, I also I'll, I should send you some of them, they're really nice, but like, I did some wedding photos and I was like, you know, no grain, normal colors, simple, and I was like, I didn't know I could do something professional like 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 high, like i didn't know i could do that quality i was like oh this is this is neat i was like i'm always just like overexposed shit and make it blurry and add green and fuck up like contra so it was like oh i can actually like edit i was make like, something I normal something that peter yeah. mckinnon would take yeah i was like oh this is like the stuff that like you see like in, like i could like i could do like the soft focus like fucking pretty girl wearing like vin- a vintage outfit in front of a neon sign and that generic bullshit that in front of a sunset. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. I could do. Yeah. I could Dude, do I hate that shit. Like, I, yeah. I could. I, yeah. Once like there was a time where I was like, no more golden hour. I'm like, we're done. I was like, I can't. Like that's why I'm happy. It's it's super overcast out today, and I'm like, that's gonna be perfect for the shoot because I didn't want overcast. I'm doing a big shoot with the um uh the um what's it called. Uh, the model I just worked with, who I did a bunch of photos with, like the split stuff. And, uh, he's he's amazing, and we're doing another shoot tonight. Mm. And, like, you know, we were talking about like what to do, and I was like, uh, and I was like, okay, you know, his, his thing was he's like, I want like, because he just wants cool pictures for his Instagram, and he's like, I just the only thing I want is to make sure it's shirtless, and I went, okay, that's fine. I was like, we've got to figure out like a location. And I was like, well, I don't want to do the beach. I was like, the beach is generic. And also, I, I, I've shot the beach a thousand times in Florida. You should do, like, the good. top of a building. Yeah, I was like, maybe, I was like, maybe the top of a building. And I was like, I was thinking, like, rocky kind of stuff, like, like, kind of more, like, um, like, you know, like, ethereal. And he's like, I kind of, he's like, I kind of want to go more grunge like you normally do. And I was like, okay. And then he brought up angel wings. And I went, huh, that'd be kind of funny. And then we, we kind of, we, we, we started sending sample ideas and the theme is um is like cupid on a bender so it's like it, so he's gonna like he's gonna be like in a suit with like shitty makeup on and it's like cupid's just had a long night of getting fucked up at a club and we're just gonna like shoot like weird glam we're gonna do like glam stuff tonight it's gonna look really kind of cool and pretty and very used to mare or tumor or whatever the fuck his name is um and then 
like just like subway like beer bottle trash dude like, you know um, it's gonna be so fun you know like um julia fox it sounds familiar the girl from uncut gems yes okay i yeah i've seen uncut gems i should know she had this one photo shoot because she's a model Mm-hmm. Um, she's actually done Playboy before. Um, you know, let me show you. She did this really cool subway shoot. Subways are subways are tricky. I've noticed because like no, no 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 no. But she's like wearing a hat. She's wearing an, a clear hazmat suit. Um, shit. I don't know if you can see that. Here, just text me. I'll text it to you. Just DM me. Um, but she's like um, tricky. huh? everyone's like everyone's seen them you know what i mean like a subway and no like, but it was during the pandemic there was nobody there and she was wearing like this clear five oh that's cool yeah she's wearing like this clear hazmat suit and she's like only wearing her underwear mm-hmm. and yeah that's interesting it's so like yeah she always picks a great photographer look through her stuff and she's got a lot of them what did you think of uncut gems uh oh, best movie uh, of last year and it's the best movie I've ever. It's probably one of the best movie of the decade, and it's it like that in Good Time, like. I see. I like Good Time more. Like I don't understand how people could tell you like um. The mo- ending of the movie's bad. Like a lot of people don't like the ending, but they're like they're just degenerate to always want a happy ending. Unless I mean maybe you like you don't like the ending. I don't know. I I liked the ending. My, my, okay, like, the thing with, like, Uncut Gems for me was, like, people were like, oh, it's so, for one, the soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks ever. I love it. I have the whole thing Also, there. there's a lot of, uh, there's, like, The Weeknd made a lot of songs for the movie, yeah. but they never got onto the movie, so they got on After Hours, and the mm-hmm. One Tricks Point Never, uh, did, is, like, did, like, a lot of After Hours songs. You can, yeah, you, yeah, you can definitely tell. I love yeah. After Hours. It's one of the best albums. I'm, I'm a music critic, too. I'm a film critic, music critic. Everything. Anyways, what are you saying? Um. Well, it's like everyone with uncut gems was like, you know, like it's so like don't like I I have no problem with dark and depressing movies. I I love that. I think for me it was like I like Good Time more, cause like with Good Time you're more like empathetic. Like with like with uncut gems you're like watching this, this like DK. just yeah just spiral and like just this asshole like this slubby guy just crashed. With uncut, with um, fucking good time, you feel so bad. Like you know the book, like he, like Robert Pattinson's scummy, but I feel like I, I empathized with him more, even though he is weird and gross. But the other thing is like, there's less. I, what? Because I knew that uncut gems was written like, year, like ten years like before good time ever came out. Like it was written before. I had a, I was like, I was like, I have a feeling a lot of this is gonna be like good time. And like that, so it's like I like I kind of saw the ending coming because I was like, you know, it, it it's like oh, because like I know because I know what the tricks are. I'm like, okay, it's gonna subvert my expectations. It's gonna be, and then I guess, and then like the other like big, like <laughs> the other big like compliment um, that movie gets is people are like, I was so anxious the entire time, and like like and people are like, oh, it's like, so anxiety. Like it makes you feel like um the way no other movie has ever made me feel because i haven't seen good time before uncut gems i saw it after uncut yeah. gems and i'm probably gonna check out the other one about the heroin addict too uh they I, make yeah, some I really that one out. Yeah, yeah um no i we'll see it's like everyone's like uncut gems like made me so ang- like so anxious which i think the reason i didn't resonate with that is because i have an anxiety disorder so i so like if it did, like and i think also like i remember i saw on christmas actually I did Christmas with my family. Yeah, I saw Christmas Day. Yeah, I like and I, I I did Christmas with my family and then I was like, I'm gonna go I'm like I had, like two or three hours to kill, I'm like, I'm gonna go see this. So I sped to the movies and went and saw it by myself. But I think I was like having like I can't remember, but I think I was kind of having a panic attack already that day a little bit and was already anxious. So but like for me it's like I've had like panic attacks where it's like I can't walk or like I hyperventilate. So I think for me it's like watching that movie, I was like like if it was making me anxious i just thought that was normal living at that time <laughs> so for me i was like i was like, people were like it made me so anxious and i'm like dude that's you mess with like the um the contemporary uh 2012 rap music in the soundtrack like i'm at like when i first when i, when I was watching the movie and i saw a fight scene to um swimming pools by kendrick 
I was like, mm-hmm. this is just solidified its greatness. And they have like this Meek Mill song playing, and they have like the Morning by the Weekend, and it, I just love the whole like setting of 2012 because as a little nine year old kid and your or eight year old kid, I was constantly I was listening to like all these rap musics that when you had to pay for like a dollar each song, and it's just like it feels like I'm watching a story behind all of these all of this music that is put out at the time when I was little. It feels like I'm seeing some story happen behind this rap music and all these glamorous like um, you know gems and and fucking all this stuff. And I feel like it's like this nightly setting is just it was like so like. Mm-hmm. I've always kind of wished I could be there. You, 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 you saying that, like, like, gave me, like, a war, like, you said the 199 thing, like, I instantly flashed back to, like, when I was 10, which was almost a decade ago. Like, yeah. But, it's, like, I remember sitting on the floor, like, in my, like, in my mom's room on my, like, iPhone 4. <laughs> and, like, I'm, like, kid, like, seeing how much money I got, and I'm buying... I'm downloading and buying stuff off of um came that year. Uh Recovery by Eminem and then like going back to like the Eminem like all of his other albums and downloading like the Lose Yourself soundtrack and stuff like that. And it's like I remember like getting it like cause Eminem was like the first like rap I got into it when I was ten. I wasn't into music until like I was like fifteen. But like I got into rap a little bit like at ten and then I dropped off and then fifteen I was like, Oh I love music and now I absorb it. I try and listen to as much new stuff as possible. I think it's the it's a uh, no I know it is. Um, There's a lot of new stuff that's garbo. Like I hate like give me the most popular rappers and I probably won't like um I hate to say like oh I hate the mainstream. I don't hate the mainstream. Like Drake is my favorite and he's mainstream, but like people like Roddy Rich and Lil Baby and Da Baby, yeah. they're all just like There's there's one or two that I that I like, but the the one that I don't vibe with is that at all that annoys me is Travis Scott. Yo, my what? Name, I don't I don't get into Travis Scott at all, and I, but I but my name is Travis Scott, and I'm like I hate this. Your name is Travis Sherwood. No, I, I know but my middle name is Scott. Ah. So ah. I'm tra- yeah, so I'm Travis Scott Sherwood, and pe- and people are always like the rapper and the rapper, and I'm like yeah I don't listen to him, and I hate it. I, I've tried like I hope it's like I'm Office Space face. when they're like um. Michael Bolton. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like I'm just like waiting. Like I hope I I can I eventually it'll, it must happen. But <laughs> one day I just really get into Travis Scott. Like, but like right now I'm just not into it. And I'm like waiting. I'm like I'm but like it's so annoying. You're like get out of here. And I'm like why would I lie? <laughs> I'm like why would I lie about such a dumb thing like my middle name? Um. Like, yeah, I just I don't vibe. I, trap is like that type of rapping is like harder for me to get into. Oh, I like rap subgenres. Like, I like me a a good little emo rap, and then I like me a good little uh, cocaine rap. Like, like I'm not like I'm talking like Freddie Gibbs, like Killer Mike, like those drill. Drill is good, yeah. but like when it's just like generic trap in the same hi hats and like. <laughs> I've been going back to RCJ since since uh, four dropped. Like. Oh God! Yeah, four. The uh, oh. intro. It was like Yankee oh, and the uh Yankee and the Brave is great. Yeah, that's a great track. Yankee oh shit, I almost Brave. played it. I don't want to get a copyright strike. I made a reaction video last night to Drake's two new songs. They got a copyright strike and I had to um I had to uh fucking make a, a, a unlisted link and embed it in my website. So I had to like it was it was it was, it was a pain. It was a pain. But that's that's why I really don't mess with YouTube that much. So I'm like, I, I hate that. Oh, man, I can't wait to blow up and get a Patreon and, like, put all this, like, like you know, co- like, shit that would get banned. I just, I use it as, like, I use YouTube as, like, a storage platform. Like, like you can go on my, like, you can go on my, my YouTube and watch my videos. There's a 20-minute documentary about making the one film. I'm, I've been recording my entire, not much recently but like i've been like vlogging like the trip up from florida to, to new york because it's literally insanity like you like it's it's like no one like you wouldn't i gotta vlog me. more but i'm just so like bad at just pointing and shooting mm-hmm. like well it's like i've been shooting on my phone and i, I hate it and i'm like 
I might do a monthly because like I already put out a billion videos like I don't yeah, know yeah I mean but like I, I'm working on that vlog and like it's and like again I'll use it for storage where it's like hey you can check this out if you want to know more about me but like I'm not like this is the focus you know and I mean your main focus is your Instagram yeah my main yo my like people are like what is what are you most proud of I'm like my Instagram that thing's my baby like I've I work on that thing so hard to like make it how it is and I just I, I love that oh like, I, it's just, like, it, it genuinely feels like my child. Um, but... You gotta yeah, put I, make a website and store your shit there. Because yeah, one day Instagram's gonna, like... There's gonna be an astro... Astro, um... There's gonna be an asteroid that hits the planet. And then, like, the headquarters of Instagram's just gonna, like... And you gotta get, a, like, a website or, like, a... I mean, you already have them on your computer, but, like... I assume... Yeah. I, one day, one day I will. I'll get a I, archive. I get a website. It's just so much money, and I'm like, I'm not there yet. No, I you can do it for I free, can... but like the the link to get to the website will be like a million, a thousand different numbers. Yeah, like, I, I'm just like waiting, and like one day I'll just fucking buy, like you know, domain dot com. Yeah, buy your own yeah, domain. Uh, like domain dot com. Yeah, that'll like um, the film like, riot ad. Yeah, yeah, the film riot ad. Uh, Shout out film riot. No, filmriot the, the domain. Domain.com. No, filmriot dot like the the filmmaking tutorial YouTube channel. Like I love yeah. that shit. Yeah, they have, yeah they have the best domain ads. Uh, they're so funny. God, I haven't watched filmriot in a while. Oh, I miss them. Um, no shit. What was I gonna say? Yeah, I I, I did. I have like a, actually I do have like a Wix site, just like hanging out. Like Wix dot com. Like, like I like I made it. Like it's it's done. I just but then like I realized how much money it would cost me and I just didn't want to do it. I wouldn't use it now because it's very much a different style. You know, it was me a year ago where everything's more colorful and like it's all like nice and like vintagey. And, like, everything was colorful a year ago, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, everything yeah. Fuck this year. Um, <laughs> twenty twenty. Yeah. Um and then uh, and like you know, and like my like Travis Sherwood is in like nice like cursive serif font. Saf Safina was the font, yeah. And it's like now, now my now like my font like I'm all minimal and dark, and it's like the new like I'm making my business card and I'm and I'm using the like the thank you plastic bag font as my <laughs> as like my as like my my font now. And it's like I so it's like I couldn't even, like to use it would be so stupid now. <laughs> but also I hate Wix ads, so I'd rather not anyways. <laughs> Wix ads like annoy me to no end, so I kind of wouldn't want to give them my money anyways. But I'll get a website at some point. I just again, it's like slow, slow, slow strokes. Just, we we move slow here. Um, you know, I like you know, which I don't like. I'm impatient, but I'm working on it. But everything yeah. is a small step. Yeah, that's kind of how. In general, it is. I'm just like just slowly. Slowly going. I'm trying to think of, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, it's just like you know. I mean, I'm getting a couple gigs, not enough, but like I'm just like I, you know, I'm slowly. I did one yesterday that was funny. Did like a gender reveal that had like a motorcycle, and that was interesting. And then I'm doing something soonish. Hold on. Oh. I keep I keep everything well stored. Um, yeah, for real. I think I'm supposed to be doing a gender reveal on. Is that a calor calendar? It's a calendar. A physical uh, yeah. calendar? Yeah, I like writing things physically. Uh, it's, I'm supposed to be doing a gender, another gender reveal tomorrow, but I doubt it. What's up with just, genders? Yeah, um, that I'm supposed to do like a lesson, like teaching at some point, but that one got rescheduled. And then like a newborn shoot, I don't know. Like, I, like I just do like little things in between. I still like a real estate job. I just only get paid for it, but I did that. You know, I'm just fucking. I'm just out here trying, but you know, it's like a slow, slow start. What's your shirt say? Writer, actor, director, producer. Nice. I like that we have the same, the same font um, on our shirts. Oh yeah, Boogie uh, Nights font. Boogie Nights font. Dude, you oh. don't know how much I love Boogie Nights. I, I love Boogie. It's one of my favorite films. Paul Thomas Anderson is one of my all-time favorite directors. I've only seen Hard Eight and Boogie Nights. You've only seen Hard Eight? Oh, you're, dude, you're missing out. I love Hard Eight, though. 
Gwyneth Paltrow yeah, in that. Hearted is good. Yeah, no, There Will Be Blood is, is, is amazing. Magnolia's, like, Magnolia's, like, out of its own, like, own level. One Strong Love is, like, in my top ten favorite movies, and it's amazing. Yo, just, like, Gwyneth Paltrow in general. Like, soon after uh, Royal Tannenbaums, I fell in love. Mm-hmm. The, the, the fun thing about, like, you like you read about, like, the process of Hard Eight, and for one, the man directed that at 23, which is insanity. How old? You're 18? Yeah, I'm 18. You gotta make a movie but, before him. I do. I, yeah. Well, it's like, da- it's like Damien Chazelle made Whiplash at, like, 20-ish, eight, you know, 20-ish, 22, something like that. Really young. And it's like, I like the average director. I can't with La La Land. Don't tell me you're in a La La Land stand. I'm not, not really. I know. I, I want to watch it again and see if uh, my opinion changed. I do love, um, I do love, uh, First Man, though. That's a, and Whiplash. Whiplash is one of my favorite movies in First Man's. Oh, oh Whiplash is so, like, I saw that one scene from it when he's like, what is it? He's just screaming at him, and I'm just like, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Are you rushing or are you dry? Oh, it's such a good Yeah. Story. If you want films that give you anxiety, that's, that's one of the films. I just, I love drums. So to me, I, that movie's just great. I love jazz, so it's cool, but, um, the average, like, age for directors is, like, late 20s to 30s to, like, 40, and I'm like, no, not me. No. I'm dying, I'm dying to make a short film. I just finished, like, a bit, like, a, uh, the outline of a big script. I just gotta Yeah, I'm so, it. like, stressful about my writing, like, I never think I write it good enough, but, like, now I'm just, like, full send, just do it. I, I... I normally feel, I don't know, for me it's like, if I feel confident in, in it, but I also like, to, my new thing is like, I like to let things simmer. Like, simmer down. Yeah, well just like gestate in my head. Like, you, you know, mean like, like, don't do it, rush into it, just like, see yeah. how you think about it. Because like, in high school, you know, like my friends and I are making short films, it's like we'd make something, and then like, you know, like, I'd write like a quick thing Aren't down. you like in college or some shit, like, I don't know. I, uh, I, uh, I did college in high school, but I'm not in college anymore. How did that work? Uh, it was fine. Like, no, like how? Like, I don't... That's, like, oh, completely alien to me. Yeah, I forget. The North doesn't really have that. Um, in Florida... The North. Think, yeah, the New... Um, you guys say washer. Um, water. Uh, water. Um, yeah. Uh, washer machine. The Crick. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, in Florida, you can do enroll, which is where, if you pass this test, you can do uh, college classes instead of high school, which I liked because... High school, I hated high school, and I was bored by it. And I was like, I'd rather do college where it's the. And then the cool thing is like, you have less classes but get more credits, and you can do it quicker. Because like a college, like you can do a college class in like eight, sixteen weeks, or whatever the hell, and you're done. And then um, I was gonna say shit. Uh, like I just like go home. I'd like wake up, go to one class at high school, and go home and do college in my PJs at home, and I loved it, but. Uh, I did college. I might go back next year. Maybe we'll see how COVID goes and how I feel about college and research and all and researching the colleges first. Um, yeah. But I I don't really vibe with college that much. School in general, it doesn't seem like. No, it's not my thing. But like I I I feel like college is for a, not everything, of course, but for a lot of things, it's like a scam. Like, <laughs> like like if you're if you're in the medical degree or an engineer or a scientist, of course you should be going to college. Of course. But if you're doing a creative f- freelance field, like, yeah, fuck out of It's not, like, it's not bad. I, like, but a lot of things, a lot of degrees I feel are very pointless or they're too expensive. But it's in, we're in this, like, social structure where you have to, you know, the degree gets you in the door. It's like, it doesn't really mean anything te- per se. Like, like, someone can have a bachelor's in, in, like, you know, fine arts, but someone who just self-taught might know better. But the person with the bachelor's has a ticket, and that ticket gets you in. They just, you know, like, it, it gets you in, it gets you on. You like, know, like on let's, ride. but, like, I just feel like it's so much more about experience and building your own personal brain well, compared like, I'm, to... I'm self-taught. Like, I, like, when I was, when I was, like, 13, I taught myself Final Cut. Like, I just, I just sat there and I learned it myself. Yeah, like, um... Like, I just, that's just how I am, like, what? Like, I'll be honest, I took an eight-week photography course at, like, some museum near me, but, like, 
it helped me start off, but like there's still stuff I'm learning. Mm-hmm. In general, right. just like like Lightroom, I learned on my own, but like I respect like my teacher. I've never used Lightroom. What? How do you edit your shit? Photoshop. It's the I've same never... fucking thing. It's just like yeah. set. It's the same. I know everyone uses Lightroom. I don't use it. I use Camera Raw and Photoshop. I don't do. I've never okay. Used in my entire life. Which everyone gets real weirded out by. They're like, really? I'm like, no. I kind of hate Lightroom. I think it's annoying. Probably think it's because I don't know how to use it, so I just, like, get frustrated. Yeah. How many uh, minutes have we been doing this? Uh, like, probably like an hour-ish? I don't know. You're the one recording. You've used the timer. Yeah. No, but I don't have another monitor, but, like, so I can't tell, really. I would, I would like, around one-ish, so, like, probably, like, just roughly an hour, I could assume. I don't know, though. Um, this will be on a. Uh... Oh, oh, it's like I, I'm self-taught in photography. Like, because the self-taught is so much like more, but like, um, yeah, it's it's like it's effective more, cause like. Yeah, I mean, well, what, what, when I first started, I like I was self-taught. For, like, I, I taught myself a lot in like the first couple like months or, or so, and then I took a really quick photography class online during like during high school and it was like you know simple stuff like just aperture shutter speed and like that class did help a lot like it was really easy and i picked it up like that and like i was already like ahead of the class but like it taught me basics really well and like i like i feel like if you know the basics like people should teach you the basics and just go for it i feel like there's a lot of tips though like i I could give like location scouting yeah, I mean... You gotta have feet. You gotta have feet. You gotta fucking... Uh, you gotta go around all over the place. And just, like, you can't yeah. just, like, go anywhere. You can't just, like... I Yeah, I mean... Uh, I think I locations like, are important. I Yeah, I always say just, like... Just walk around and take whatever interests you. And it's, like... Because, I, like, I don't know. That's how I work. Like, yeah. people, like... Because people, like, you... Like, say to me, they're, like, you have all these... Like, you have these, like, weird details... And I'm like, for me, that's just because that's what I notice. Because I'm just, I, I have like a hyper focus where I pay attention to something. And it's like, for me, it's like, and people, I mean, also like people are like, wow, you made like, you took this thing and like this little detail and made it abstract. And I was like, I did that completely because I was bored and depressed in high school. And I'm like eating <laughs> lunch by myself and I'm bored out of my mind. And I'm like, okay, let's take a picture of these like stacks of chairs and then like saturate it and like create some like weird effect to it. And people are like, neat. And you know, but like the thing is, like those photos aren't even that good, but people liked it. Like showed a vague interest, and that's like that's you make the interest. insignificant really significant with a lot of your fucking work, like in general, because like you're not just gonna fucking go to the beach and get like a, a white a white woman and get her with a bikini and they like stare at the sun and dance like the fuck out here with that shit. Yeah, miss me with that shit. Like you, you, you're trying. Yeah, I've made I've done genericish stuff, but I try not to. Everybody I mean, has, but like. We try and shift from that shit, but generic yeah. stuff puts our stuff out there. I mean, the thing is, for me, it's like, what do you say? Um, yeah, I don't like. It's like I don't do wide angles much. I don't have lens lenses. I don't like wides on on digital really for some reason, and I don't like how it looks in all my lenses. I don't like it, so I do everything up close. So I kind of like I force myself to do up close stuff, and I like, I like that really narrow focus. So for me, it's always like up close stuff and then yeah i just like i like focusing on details and shit like that but um i mean it's just like whatever interests me and i'll just be like huh can, um, for me it's a challenge i'm like can i make this doorknob cool like can i make this like cloud interesting or this like bunch of wires and like sometimes you, you can't and like you have to have the sensibility to go don't post that um which is still like a trick i have to learn is like pacing um, but, yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, I took that photography class, and then I didn't take one forever, and then, you know, when I was, when I, when I was, like, 16, though, I, for some reason, got this, le- like, I was so happy with my photos, that I said, I could quit now, and I'm good, like, I, I was just happy, and at that time, I thought I was just the greatest photographer. Every, yeah, you're like, I hate that shit, like, when you're so young and you think you're the best at everything, but, like, then you realize, yeah, I like... I wasn't, like, I wasn't, like, super, like, I wasn't, like, I'm better than everybody else, 
but I just, for like, at that time, what I made, I was really proud of, and I went, this is great stuff, and I went, I'm good, and I don't regret that at all, because like, it kind of put me at ease, where in my head I was like, yeah, I've already achieved greatness, now, like, I've achieved a pop, pop, like, popularity, but to myself, I feel like I've achieved a greatness, or I've achieved something really good. And of course, there's a like the quality I got after that has just grown, and that's why I still do it. Is I want to find out what else I can do, and I want and I like it. And like again, it's, a, it's like an obsessive habit. But I mean, but that that like comfort was so relaxing because after that I'm like I'll just fuck around and do what I want. And of course you make mistakes. Of course you fuck up a lot and like don't make good stuff. But like that that like okay I'm good I can relax and just go click it click it clock. That was cool to me. And then, so, like, between, like, so when I was 16, it was just experimenting and then, like, seeing what I could do and then and then getting Photoshop and then, you know, the, it, the horizons are even more broad and then you're like, what else can I, you know, do and, like, what effects? Oh, my computer's so dusty. Um, <laughs> Dude, we gotta do a shoot. We gotta do a shoot. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, for sure. How far is Delaware from New York? Been Two and a half hours, maybe. That's not bad. But, I, like, I, um... I'm 30 minutes from Philly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been to Philly in years. I could get Delaware to stay, honestly. <laughs> I'm, like, oh. I'm like, oh. I was like, I know that Delaware exists, and I'm like, no, wait, I'm thinking of Rhode Island. But, like, I'm in, like, for instance, like, I go to the, I'll go to the New Jersey beaches instead of Delaware beaches, which is, like, an, less than an hour and a half away. Uh, Jersey beaches, you know, like, Wildwood, Atlantic City, that area. Um, mm-hmm. And then... But I could definitely, like, drive up to New York. It's so, I like, I just got here, and it's, like, I don't, like, I don't know where the fuck anything is. I've gotten lost on the train so many times. <laughs> like, it's weird how, like, close it is. Like, 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 because you can, like, quickly cut through New Jersey, quickly go into Pennsylvania, quickly go into Delaware and Connecticut and, like, and, Bo- and Boston. Like, it's all, like, in a vague, like, The world gets smaller and smaller as you get older and older. Yeah, I think, like... I don't know. I guess it's because, like, you know, in Florida, like, like you can go from coast to coast in Florida in, like, two to three hours, roughly. Like, from, like, the side to side. To get from the top of Florida to the bottom is, like, almost ten hours, I think, or, like, I don't, like, five-ish hours. I don't know. I'd have to look. I think with Florida, though, but, like, I don't know. Like, I I mean, not that that's a far drive, but, like, that's... You know, like, that's kind of, like, the feeling of it. And so it's, like, you have, like, such a distance. And I don't know, like, it's just weird, like, being, like, so close to everything. And, then like, like, Manhattan's, like, a 40-minute train ride from me right now, at least. And I'm, yeah. like, it's so weird I can just go and enter. Like, yesterday I was in the city, and I'm, like, what? I'm, like, I'm here. And, like, you can just go anywhere and, but, like, yeah. Because yesterday, I, like, I was just fucking around looking for stuff. I went to rec- I was looking for a, um... Uh, a boosted board, and then realize boosted boards are very expensive. So, in- <laughs> like a thousand bucks. Cheaper, a uh, cheaper electronic skateboard online. <laughs> I like, like I was like, I want a boosted board because I'm doing delivery stuff. I want something to help me travel. I can use it for once I get a gimbal for my camera. Riding the boosted board with the gimbal, you'll create like this. Like, like it, I'll have like such cool abilities to shoot. And I was like, I'm getting a boosted board instead of like a bicycle or anything. And like I go, and like I search all these stores and I walk a couple miles and can't find any. I get to one store and they have one. There's one left and it's like a, and they ring me up and they're like, so that'll be like one thousand whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm out. Of Adios, goodbye. Uh, and like I feel bad because I pussied out and like gave and like made the fake excuse. They must have known I was lying. Or I went. Oh, I just put money in my card, but it hasn't gone through yet. <laughs> and, like, awkwardly shuffled out. And I was like, fuck. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I, like, it's, I like, so, it like, off. I don't know. Just save up your money, man. You'll get it. You'll get it. Yeah, that, that, yeah. well, I'll just use a cheaper one for now, and then one day I'll get the, yeah. one, the real thing. But I, 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 like, I think I thought they were so much cheaper, you know. But I'll get one eventually. But... Well, I was like, eh, it's either that or a bicycle. I'm like, let's get, like, a fucking cheap one. Like, cheap boosted board. But no, I saw a guy on, like, using, like, a, a nice gimbal with the boosted board and just, like... Casey Neistat type beat. 
Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm already wearing the leather jacket and constantly wearing sunglasses on. <laughs> you know, but, yeah, it was really interesting, that whole, like, yeah, that, like that walk around. But, like, yeah, I'm just I'm just in that city now, and it's so weird, and, like, discovering stuff. I'll pull up. It's it's good, but also you feel even smaller somehow. You feel like you're like, oh, I am nobody. You're like, there are 8 million people here. I am nothing. And, like, that's so scary. But you're like, one day it'll be fine. Like... You know, uh, but the thing is, like, as soon as I say it, you know, I say that now, oh, excuse me, I say that now, I'll, like, you know, I'll flip on a dime as soon as I get there. It's like, um, Bill Murray has that quote, um, no one wants to be rich and famous, you know, people just want to be rich, and the best way of doing it is by being famous. It's like, you don't want to be famous. Oh, like, yeah. You don't want to be bothered by that, you just want to be rich. And, like, you know, it's like, you want the validation. Of, like, of course we want famous validation, you know, because it's validation. But it's like, people just want to be, want to be, want to be rich. And the best, and it's, but it's also fun to be famous. But it's like, they, but once they get rich and famous, they don't work well together. And I was like, oh, that's so interesting. I mean, that Bill Murray like, is wise. Bill Murray, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, that's what, but like, yeah. I mean, it was, but I mean, mm. Uh, like New York is interesting because it's, it's it's so much richer now. Like the rich have kind of killed the city a little bit, but I mean, there's still places, but it's it's yeah. definitely killed it a bit. But it's it's interesting. I mean, my, I mean, this, it was either this or L.A. and I choose this in a heartbeat. Dude, L.A. is fucked. I hate that shit. Like, I don't hate it, but like, it's just not like I don't know. I couldn't live in. I just like this better. Maybe like I just people like why don't you go to L.A. and I was like I don't like the heat. Um, for one. Okay, uh, I'm going to LA then. Because, like, I like the heat. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, see, I, it's too hot there for me. I, I, I like dreariness. I like wearing my big coats, and my scarves, and my my suits. I I, I, can't, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a northern boy. Um, but, like... Northern? Northern, yeah, all the way. But, like, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I say this, like, one of the things that, like, someone said that I have always laughed about is that they said... Um, LA is for rich people who love themselves and New York is for rich people who hate themselves. And I know which category I fit in completely. Like, like I was like, I know which one I belong in. And I was like, oh, I got that self-loathing. I just don't have that money. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, that's just like, yeah, like I'm just, I, it's, I'm like less than two months into adulthood and I'm just like, why? I knew it was gonna, if, if I knew shit was going to be like this, I would have started, like, stockpiling gold when I was, like, in kindergarten. This <laughs> like, I would have started investing in, like, in stocks at, like, eight. Because, like, man, it's insanity. And also everything in New York is expensive. But, eh, you know. All right, this has been great. I, think I was going to say, I was like, how long do you want this to go? This, is, this has can, been a great podcast. I can ramble for hours. That's a podcast, all right, just rambling. And I'll make a flashy yeah. title, barely related to what we're talking about. Yeah, you, I mean, I mean, you, <laughs> you can just like bring up Epstein, and then you'll have me going for like four hours straight. Oh gosh, don't, <laughs> don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even. I'll just be like, I like, I was going to Epstein and the whole thing. I'll no, dude. When I get to politics, I, I'm not like an angry politics person, but I, I just know facts, and I just go, I just go down conspiracy, and I'll be like, don't even, yeah. All right, I'm gonna link all his joints below. Okay. Awesome. Subscribe I mean, and check out his. It. YouTube and Instagram and photos and and stuff. This is my first. This is my first podcast. And this is fun. It's fun. It's just being you on camera. I love it. I I should do one. I'll have to figure it out one day. I feel like everyone has a podcast though. I don't know. Okay. The Pope well, has a podcast. No, we're staying on. We're staying on for a little bit after I uh, hang up. Okay. I mean, after I stop recording. All right. See you guys Ooh. in the next has discusses. <laughs>